Last week, we issued a, a press release concerning our Fume Silica initiative. Not to be confused with silica fume. Fume silica is a material that we're developing with our own fume silica reactor, while silica fume is a byproduct that comes out of a traditional of any process to con convert quartz into silicon. So while we will be making silica fume with the QRR, at this moment, I am talking about the advances we've reached in the fume silica initiative with our own fume silica reactor. Our fume silica initiative is done through our uh, basically a subsidiary called HPQ Silica Pulveris. It is a standalone unit within HPQ. And what it does is it's financing, it's developing the fume silica reactor. Might sound repetitive, but it is not. The fume silica reactor is a unique uh, technology that was or that is being developed by Pyrogenesis for HPQ, which allows a one-step transformation of quartz directly into fume silica. What's really significant about the results we announced last week is that at lab scale, we have been able to produce basically commercial grade fume silica. And that is really the holy grail that we were looking for. The original plan that we, that we, that we embarked in when we signed this deal in 2021 was that we would be making, we would be attempting to make at pilot scale, commercial quality fume silica. Having reached that milestone at lab scale basically allows us to focus much more the next stage of our development toward the commercialization and scaling up because we already know how to make with our process, how to make commercial grade fume silica. And the, the advantages of the technology are such that, we, that that was really the biggest milestone we needed to reach for us to, to be able to have a competitive edge in the industry. The theory of using uh, plasma to convert quartz into fume silica has been out there for many, many years. The, the technical roadblock to the development of that technology is, is nobody has ever succeeded at doing commercial grade material, basically a material that resembles the commercially produced fume silica made by, by, by an industry using just plasma, going directly from quartz to fume silica. The traditional process is an extremely long, extremely expensive, uh, and extremely uh, environmentally challenging, challenging process. In our case, we go from quartz, we use plasma, high temperature plasma, and we make fume silica. So as, I, as we've described in previous press releases, the environmental advantages of our technologies are through the roof. In, an, in, in a macro environment where pressure is on the big manufacturers of fume silica to cut their, their CO2 emission and to cut their environmental footprint. So for us to be able to demonstrate at lab scale that we've made commercial grade fume silica means that we can now focus more of our energy on scaling up our technology toward commercialization. And that's what we're doing. We're gonna be doing when the fume silica pilot plant becomes operational beginning of next year. Fume silica's applications are multiple. They go from pharmaceutical, where it's a powder that basically fume silica is a white powder, very light, fluffy white powder um, that is used as a thickener agent, as an agent in multiple formulation of end product. Um, and this is, this is where the fume silica reactor also possesses another commercial advantage. The issue with traditional process of making fume silica is you need uh, basically economies of scale with traditional large uh, chemical plants. Our reactor being small and scalable, okay, allows us to make the material closer to the buyer. Why is that significant? Well, fume silica is basically a very, um, a very light material, but takes a lot of volume. So you end up shipping a lot of air to get it to your, your clients. But we can set ourselves up with smaller, because it's always been our philosophy at HPQ and HPQ Silica Pulveris, that we like small, scalable technology. So we like the concept of bringing to industry the concept of what was mainframe and computer to desktop computers. And that's the same thing that we're doing for fume silica. So in, a, in addition to being able to do fume silica in one step from quartz, we will be able to do it much more closer to our end product so we can basically dedicate a line for clients. The market for fume silica 
is around $2 billion a year growing. One of the limitations where HPQ's uh, silica pulveris fume silica reactor advantage really lies is in the fact that expanding the production of that material has, met, uh, has a lot of environmental issues, which are the traditional process, which we won't have. So we think that our technology would not only will be able to take a leading part on the market presently, because we will, we will have the cleaner product around. And the reason is far simple. The, in, the, in, in the way the economy is now going toward more, to a more green processing, every CO2 saving that you do gets added on to the end buyers. It becomes very, very important for the end buyer. So uh, in addition to being cheaper, we will also give advantages to the buyer of using your material. So we, I've always believed that if we just made a material that was of commercial quality, we will have a significant, if not a very difficult to overcome uh, commercial advantage. And this is what we're starting to market and commercialize and looking how we can build up plan to do this. Will we, will we do this independently or with partners? This is still up to discussion, but uh, the fact that we already have, you know, demands for a sample from significant players is, can show a good indication where we think this is going.